Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a very informal video and I'm going to be showing you a PowerPoint presentation. Don't you love when you're looking forward to a YouTube video and it's a PowerPoint presentation? I know it's lazy. I know what it is, but that's what we're going to do here today. What I want to do is I want to tell you guys about my incoming dolls and my 2022 doll plans. Now I know we just started December, but I'm kind of already planning out my stuff for next year and thinking about how I'm gonna do things differently next year for my collection. So I thought I would share that for you guys. But first I wanna talk about my incoming dolls because most of these dolls are probably not going to land until 2022. So they're a part of my doll plans for the next year. So the first doll um, that I expect to get her fairly soon because she is finished with Rikuru Sensei is a Merlot Mamoni from Atelier Mamoni. Now this was not a color that was offered at pre-order. Um, I got lucky and I asked Lola if she would order me a big Mamoni in the Merlot color because I just love that skin tone so much. And she did and I had her sent to Rikuru for a face up. She came out absolutely gorgeous, y'all. So those dolls are going back to Lola. They have to be packed and shipped and then she'll be on her way to me. I cannot wait to show her to you guys. You guys know that Mamoni, my Coco Mamoni is my favorite BJD. I love that doll so much. She means so much to me from an emotional standpoint and just from, you know, so many, so many reasons that that doll is so special to me. So I'm really excited to be getting her in the Merlot color. She's going to be absolutely stunning. Now, another doll that I should have soon is the, an Oscar full set from Mima Marina. Now, this, if you guys follow Shira, Shira has, Shira is Oscar's number one fan. Um, and you guys may have seen Oscar before on my channel because Shira brought him over for one of our doll days. He was one of the dolls we took um, out to eat at a Japanese restaurant that we go to. Y'all, I fell in love with him then, and I was able to get on the list to get one, and this is my guy. He's full set. I'm so excited. She has discontinued Oscar, so I'm so thankful to the artist for allowing me to get one before they were discontinued. I'm really pumped about him. I cannot wait, wait, wait to get him. He is in transit, so you guys may see him very soon. He, he could be showing up any day now. Um, and I'm just really, like, really excited about him. Shira is even excited for me to get him once he comes. We're going to take our Oscars out to lunch and maybe for bubble tea and stuff like that. So I'm really excited uh, for that and just really thankful that I was able to get one before he was discontinued. Um, the next one, I don't really know how to say this. Um, I'm just, I, I really don't. I'm sorry. Titurb by Nymphaeus Dolls. This is, he is just so cute, this little one. And I wanted, I thought this would be perfect. I didn't have one of her dolls already, one of this artist's dolls. And I thought this one would be perfect for the kind of nature scene that I'm planning for my little fantasy folks. And so I decided to add him. He glows in the dark, which I think is very exciting. So this one's gonna be really cool whenever he arrives. I'm not, I can't remember when he's expected, but I think he's just adorable. Um, next, I've got Peggy by Anna Salvador on pre-order, and I believe this is the first BJD that, that Anna has offered in um, a chocolate resin tone. And of course, I got the chocolate because I love that tone. You can see behind me, I have several of her dolls back there on the shelf. And I'm really excited to add Peggy to the collection. So I, um, I've got her on order. Not sure when she'll be ready. I want to say that she said around March or April. So that's kind of what we're looking at. But as always, Anna's dolls are exquisite. They're exquis exquisitely well made and they're just amazing dolls. Okay. Um, I've also got a 12 inch Maisie by Kim Arnold on order. You guys know that Kim is one of my favorite artists and I've got one of her 12 inch kids coming. I got the first 12 inch at Modern Doll last year. Or this It's been this year, but I feel like it's last year because we're planning for next year's Modern Doll. Um, I got the 12 inch, the first 12 inch one, the Kimmy there that I have in my collection. I really like that size, so I decided to order another one at her newest pre-order. And I imagine that'll be somewhere early in the new year. Next, I've got Waverly on pre-order from Teeny Tinkers. And if you guys didn't see, I have an interview with Rosie on my channel here where she talks all about 
um, the hollows and that pre-order and her dolls and I'm really excited about that one really excited to be able to support her as this is her first um, doll that she made commercially like commercially available to collectors and so I'm really happy that I was able to get on that I also love her layaway plan because you don't have to remember to log in and pay it like auto bills you I really really like that a lot of people um, a lot of layaways you have to remember to go in and pay them and you'll see as I go through this list I have a lot of dolls like on order and so I typically will do layaway if a doll's available right away I'll go ahead and pay for it up front but if the doll is going to take some time to make I almost always take advantage of layaway just because you know the doll's not ready anyway so it's not going to get here any faster if I pay it in full so I will spread that out um, but I really like her layaway plan I think it's a really nice one um, next up, you guys may remember my gal Ife from last year, or it was maybe as earlier this year, and Nothing Sapiens opened an order for their other dolls, and I just, I loved Ife so much, I ended up getting they were a 15 con, and um, Saab by Nothing Sapiens, so I have those incoming. I'll be honest with you guys, I can't remember which colors I ordered in which, but I believe it's three different colors, so I'll have um, some of all of their resin tones, and they're all three going to be artist full sets. From what I understood, I will get the Naora 15 and the Con first, like those will be shipped to me separately when they're done because the Saab takes a little bit longer, because you can see like, you know, it has all the detail with the painting on the face and the cybernetic arm and stuff like that. So that doll is an exquisite work of art. I can't wait to see those. Can't wait to share them with you. But those three will be coming in um, sometime. I know the dolls actually have landed already. They have them. They've been sharing. Nothing Sapiens has been sharing in their stories that they have the dolls. I think they're getting out the gal e face first. Um, but you know, these, I, I would guess maybe February, January, February on these. So really looking forward to those. Um, I also, after I opened my last Lavender Poupe's jointed doll, I ordered another one. That's how it goes with those dolls. As soon as I open one, I get my name back on the list for another one because the wait is a bit long. And I ordered a jointed doll and the next jointed doll I get is going to be my mini me. So I'm going to have a mini me of her dolls. You might be able to see them on display here. Um, I've got four of them, one, two, three, and then I'll have put the fourth one over here somewhere. I'm gonna kind of arrange that. So, love those dolls so much. She is one of my all-time favorite artists. Just the amount of effort and work and craftsmanship that goes into her dolls, they are outstanding. And I may have a little bit of surprise, a little bit of a surprise to share with you about her dolls um, coming up, but let's wait and see about that. So next, I've got a Nikki Britt Artist Full Set Fable coming. That one is going to be in color Peanut Butter, which was, she did as a limited color for this first run of Fable dolls. Um, so really excited about that one. I don't expect that one for a while. I'm, I'm guessing maybe like, May or June. Artists always give us a um, like a timeline, but everything at the factories has been taking a long time. Shipping's been taking a long time. All of these things have been really extended, so I just try in my mind to just push it out as far as possible. The problem with that though is, is I forget a lot of times how many dolls I already have on order and I end up ordering a lot more dolls. As you can see, because I was actually having a conversation with Shira, you guys know I talk about Sh me and Shira like we talk all the time. I was talking with her about like she was like, well, what dolls do you have on order? And I started making a list, and I was like, oh my gosh, Shira, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I did not remember how many dolls I had on order. So anyway, I had to make a list. That's kind of like this process, and then kind of think about my future doll plans, which we'll get to in just a minute. Um, next, L by Maddie Bear Dolls. Really excited about that one. I've already got the face up artist picked. When those dolls land, she's going straight to the face up artist, which is Janae. And I'm really, really excited to see how she comes out. I'm like, I love this doll so much. She's so gorgeous. Um, this is also Maddie Bear's first like commercial doll. And so I'm really, really excited to get her in my hands. And then I've got, this is not an artist doll, but this is the Biscatina Star Sprinkles by Azone. I saw, I follow Azone on Instagram and I saw them share this doll and it was 
Um, I want to say it was Japanese exclusive, or maybe not. They had some at Fabric and Friends, but I saw it too late. Like Fabric and Friends had done a pre-order period for them. Well, they're doing a second release of them, and I think they're supposed to land in March next year. And I saw that, and it was like this was one of those like late night, like four in the morning or early morning. I was on my phone looking, and I was like, oh, Fabric and Friends has these on pre-order, and I really wanted this, so I pre-ordered one. I think they're super cute. Can't wait to get it in my hands. How will I feel about it when it's in my hands? I don't know, but you know, the opportunity, I couldn't let it pass me by, so I did order that. I also ordered, and this is one I'm kind of like having second thoughts about, like maybe I wish I hadn't ordered this, but they had the uh, mini fee event, Fairyland had the event, uh, was it in October or maybe September? I don't remember, but I ordered a tan Merwin and Elite Doll World, caught you from Elite Doll World. I love her Merwins, like I love them so much. And I kept saying, I wanna get a Merwin, I wanna get a Merwin. And, I, and that Fairyland was offering tan again. So I got her in tan and then they had an event head, which is an elf head. And I really want, I have a uh, little fee, no, I have a mini fee Ante with, um, or Ante with elf ears that have been modded, but I got the event head with elf ears. And so I was really wanting one with the elf ears. So I bought a, and I don't know if it's Mo or Moe, I don't know which way you're supposed to say that, but I bought the body to go with that as well. So I'm getting that. Um, they're gonna be blank. So I've got to kind of decide if I'm gonna keep them or if I'm going to sell them. And if I do keep them, where am I gonna send them for face-ups, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, they're on the list, they are coming. So that is something that you're gonna see soon. Um, and I also have, and these are gonna be coming soon, Alika and the Matcha and Tarot Moss Slings by Goblin Tales BJD, another favorite artist of mine. This is gonna be my first human doll from her. And just look at Alika, is she not so gorgeous? And I was luckily one of the first, I think she offered it the first 10 people that ordered are gonna get one of these cute little dresses and a pair of fairy wings. And right now we're just waiting on the fairy wings to come in for her. <clears throat> and when they do, she's gonna ship those. Mine is blank, I'm gonna try to send her to Janae from Precious Little Lily. I'm going to find out if she's got any openings because I think she would do a bang up job on this doll. Like this just screamed. She did such a good job on my tiny little Atelier Mamoni um, Patusas. Like I feel like this is her all day long. I feel like she would make this doll look incredible. So I'm going to try to get on her list for this doll. So we'll see about that. So with all that being said and all those dolls incoming, like it really made me stop and reflect on myself. Like, first of all, I like to get new dolls because I like to review them for you guys. And the thing about getting a new doll, and I love them all. I like to support artists. That's another thing. I really love supporting the artists. Like every time I see a new artist, I want to support them. Every time I see a new doll come out from an existing artist, I want to support them. That is my big thing. Like I really love supporting artists. Um, but I have so many dolls right now. I mean, look behind me. So I'm gonna try for 2022, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to buy any dolls. But, caveat, I've got some exceptions. I'm gonna show you those. I am going to Wonderland of Play in Bruges in Belgium. I bought my tickets already. I bought a ticket for myself, a ticket for my husband, cause he's gonna be, you know, coming along with me carrying things helping me take pictures and video because I am going to cover it yay if you're there stop me and say hi to me because I will be bringing with me um, buttons and so if you are there and you want one of my buttons just stop me say hi ask if you can get a button I'll be glad to give you one while I'm there um, but I need to save my money for that because first of all the travel is going to be you know it's not cheap and second of all I want while I'm there to be able to support artists Guess who's gonna be there? Napalm Dolls, Gwendolyn Napalm's gonna be there. I'm hoping that Puppy is ready by then because I wanna snag a Puppy full set from her. If um, he's not ready yet, I'll probably just get another Hush full set. Like I love her artwork so much. Um, and I also am really excited to meet her in person. She's just one of many that I'm excited to meet in person there and that I want to go and support. So what I'm gonna try to do is all the money I would have normally spent over the first six months of the year, I want to save that and take it to Wonderland of Play. So I am trying not to buy any dolls. You guys may have seen me post about that on Instagram, like I stopped buying dolls so that I can go to this. But the thing is, is while I'm there, I want to be able to support um, the folks that are there because there is really nothing like going in person and meeting somebody that made your doll or that made the clothing or the wig or the accessories, whatever that you're gonna have for your doll. And it's really nice to be able to support those folks and just meet them in person and say hi and that sort of thing. So 
And that's my intention is to do that. And my other intention after that is I'm really considering seriously trying to save my money to build, you guys may have heard me talk about this before, build a garage at my house. Like I have no sort of carport or car shelter of any sort. I'm gonna need a new car. My car is 11 years old now. At some point I'm gonna need a new car, but it feels kind of like if I buy a new car and I don't have anywhere to park it and I'm just leaving it out in the open, it feels like kind of, you know, cause cars have gotten really expensive. When I bought my car, cars were really cheap. I bought my car in 2010 and they were cheap compared to now. Anyway, but if I build that upstairs, I'm going to have like a closed in area and I want to make like a big elongated, like a room, maybe twice this size for my dolls. And then I want to turn this room into like more of my office cause this is where I work. And so, but in order to do that, I need to save my money. So, um, you know, that's, you know, can I do it? That's the big question. Can I do it or am I too impulsive with buying dolls? We're gonna see how it goes. Now, that all being said, I have some exceptions. There are gonna be some exceptions to my rule. So let's talk about the exceptions. Exceptions to my rule, number one, and these are not in any particular order. These are just ones that came to mind. There's probably other exceptions that will come up over time, but these are the ones that like I really, these are the ones that are really on my mind. I would like to have a Nina Camara doll. I, I just learned that word the other day. I just learned the other day that Camara, is it Camara, Camara, Nina Camara, that a Camara is um, like an animal made up of different animal parts, or it's like a person that's got two, two different DNA strands in them. I didn't know where that word had come from, so I think that's really cool now that I know, because she talks about like her dolls are monsters, but they're beautiful monsters. Um, so I think that's really cool. And I have recently, maybe like in the last three months, really decided I would like to add one of her full sets to my collection. And, um, but, I want one of her full sets, like direct from the artist. I want from the artist painted and wigged. Like I want one of her dolls that's painted by her and wigged by her. I don't know that she does them with clothes. And I had messaged her about it um, maybe six months ago and asked and she just said she does it every once in a while. So I don't know that I would ever get lucky enough to catch it, but if I were lucky enough to catch her selling it and then be chosen to purchase one, I would like to have one of those and I would make an exception to my rule for that. I don't really wanna buy one second hand. Um, I really would like to buy it direct from the artist because I actually saw one today, a really nice one go up for sale in one of the Facebook groups, but I would like to get um, it direct from the artist. And also now is bad timing. Like I'm a big gifter at Christmas. Gifting is my love language. And so I spend a lot of money at Christmas. So I don't buy anything for myself during this time, except for I, I did make one other exception. You'll see that video um, here on the channel. But anyway, um, that is one of my exceptions is a Nina Camara doll. Next is a House of Babes full set doll and a resin tone I don't already have. I love House of Babes dolls. I love mine that I have. I call her Monroe and I love George's work. And if he um, comes out with any like cool limited edition full sets or come or, you know, has something in a resin tone I don't already have, I will make an exception for one of his dolls because I absolutely love them. I think they're amazing. If you're looking for a fashion doll, that has got this beautiful fashion doll sense. His dolls are really one you need to look at, especially if you're in the United States, because they're here in the United States. Um, and it's, you know, that makes shipping easier for those of us that are in the States, which you get this high fashion, beautiful doll. But anyway, that's an exception to my rule. Another exception to my rule is a Pasha Pasha half-lidded girl. I really want one of the half-lidded girls. She doesn't make them anymore. Um, and I haven't, I haven't really seen many of them come up on the secondary market. Like, so I'm hoping at some point next year, I'm able to add one, even if it's just a head to my collection. I'm hoping that it comes up for sale when the timing is right for me. Cause again, gotta have the money for that when it's available, but I would really um, like to have one of those or, you know, I like her full sets. And you, you guys may have heard me say that every year I budget myself one Pasha Pasha full set. So either a half little girl or a special full set for next year from Pasha is another exception to my rule. And the last exception is a curve. No, this is not the last exception. This is the second to the last exception. A curvy pigeon petite full set. I have been waiting for curvy pigeon for so long and they have not come out yet. And I feel like that's because the artist Joshua, he has become super like, he has been doing a lot of um, 
content like he's become a, an amazing content creator like on TikTok and Instagram and he has an amazing following and I think you know he's put a lot of his passion to that and it takes a lot of his time so we have not seen a Kirby pigeon come out for the masses the unwashed masses yet so I'm just hoping like he will come out with one next year because I really want when I have a pigeon petite I'm really looking forward to the petite um, the curvy pigeon petite so fingers crossed that he comes out with some next year like a collection of those because I will I will make an exception for that I want to add one of those to my collection and then the last one is a Diana Efner artist sample doll. Um, Diana Efner passed away uh, last year, or the past year, as you guys know. If you didn't know, she did. And her family is auctioning off the majority of her sample dolls that she's painted. While uh, Diana was alive, I never had the opportunity to get one of her painted dolls. Um, you know, I was never able to get on her list as far as getting a doll painted by her and then at, at shows and stuff like that the dolls were always pretty expensive and I wasn't ever, ever able to get one so I have been watching those auctions I haven't found the doll that like screams at me like this is the one for you but I know that when I see her I'll know it and I know it'll be a her because I just, I just feel like it will be um, but I've been watching those and so I will make an exception for that because I do at least want to try to get one of those because she is, was a wonderful woman and you know, I really enjoyed getting to know her over the years at Modern Doll Collectors Convention and would like to have a piece of her original work here in my collection. Um, I feel like, you know, that would really, really be something that fits with my collection and that would be very special to me. So anyway, those are my doll plans for 2022 and those are my incoming dolls. So you guys know kind of like as the channel goes, you can see what I'm going to be unboxing over the next probably six or seven months. And again, I'm going to try, try very hard not to deviate from that plan too much. I've still got plenty of dolls coming in. Like I don't need more dolls. Um, I'll have lots to unbox and share with you guys. And that'll give me the opportunity to do other kinds of videos too. Like I know a lot of people really like my top tens and my list sort of videos. And when I'm not doing as many unboxings, that gives me more of an opportunity to do that kind of stuff. And I actually like making those kind of videos better. Um, but I do think there's value in the unboxing because of that, like you, when you unbox something and do a review, people know what to expect when they're purchasing a doll. And I think that's where the value in that comes from. Cause I always, if I'm buying a doll, I try to find sometimes an unboxing that somebody else has done so that I can check that out. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't flame on me too hard because of the um, PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> I hate when YouTube channels do it and here I am doing it. I'm so lazy. I'm sorry. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe because you see all the dolls that I just mentioned you have to look forward to. And I would really love to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Right now it's going kind of slow, so I don't know if we're gonna get there, but I would I need about 1,200 more. So would love it if you would subscribe, share my videos with a friend um, and see if you can get them to subscribe. That would be, I would appreciate that so much. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon, Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, and Asia C. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.